What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to look at rehab exercises for hip arthritis. These could also be used if you've had a total hip replacement and you're looking to get stronger and improve your function. So if you've got either of those situations going on, stay tuned for today's video. So the first three exercises, the first three movements we're gonna look at in this video will be the less challenging ones. So if you've got more severe pain or maybe you did have surgery and you're early on in the healing process, these would be ones to start with. And then as your symptoms get better and you heal more, you can try the ones at the end of the video. If anything creates pain, then I would just stick with the ones earlier in the video that don't create pain and then just move on as you get better. So for the first three movements, we're gonna work on hip movements, hip extension, hip abduction, hip flexion. You're gonna take a piece of TheraBand and secure it to um, something firm uh, at your home. And I'll put a link in the description for TheraBand if you need to find some. And then you're gonna to wanna to have something to hold on to for balance. I have a foam roller here, which isn't the most ideal. So you could use the back of a chair, something like that. And if I'm working my right leg, I wanna hold on for balance with my left hand, the opposite hand. So for this first one, for hip extension and for all these movements, make sure you don't move your upper body or trunk around a whole lot. You just want to move your hip. So for this first one, I'm going to stand on the, uh, non the, uh, the healthy leg and then I'm going to move the hip back into extension. For all of the exercises in this video, we're going to go for three sets of around 10 repetitions. And these first three exercises you can really do as a circuit. So first we've got here, we've got hip extension, which is going to work primarily gluteus maximus, our main hip extensor. And then after I've done a set there, I'm going to rotate and go out into hip abduction. And this will primarily work gluteus medius and gluteus minimus, our main hip abductors. You might also really feel the leg you're standing on working quite a bit. So I would encourage you to do all these exercises on the other leg as well. So that's hip abduction. And then I'm gonna rotate one more time and we're gonna go through hip flexion where the leg is just going straight out to the front and working the hip flexor muscles. Now there's one other movement that the hip that we could do right here, which is hip adduction where the leg goes across the body. We're not actually gonna do that because for people with hip arthritis, this often causes pain. And if you've had a hip replacement, Sometimes that's a precaution where they don't want you to cross your leg past midline. So we're not going to do hip adduction. We'll just have hip extension, hip abduction, and hip flexion for our first three exercises. Our next three exercises here will be a little bit more challenging. So again, just base it on your symptoms and uh, find the ones that are appropriate with, for you and stick with that. And then over time, uh, you should be able to implement more of these. So the next exercise here is a really good one for your hip extensors, uh, really all of your glutes, but primarily gluteus maximus, medius, and minimus. It's a glute bridge. It's one most people are familiar with, but you're just gonna lay on your back, arms down at your sides, and then push down with both feet lifting up and squeezing your glute muscles. So this is gonna work those big hip extensors on the back side of the hip, which are really important for stabilizing the hip joint and uh, doing exercises like this can really help with pain and recovery if you have had a hip replacement. This is obviously the double leg option, which is where you wanna start. If I say have pain on my right side or had surgery there, and this gets to be really easy, then I can switch to a single leg option where I'm work doing the exercise like this. This is gonna be quite a bit more challenging. This is actually one of my personal favorite exercises, but in the beginning of rehab, it might be too challenging. So start with double leg, see how you feel, and then transition to single leg if you need more challenge. The next exercise is gonna be an air squat. You can also do this with a chair if you're worried about your balance and you need some sort of tactile cue to reach back and kind of touch your butt to. But basically what we're gonna do is just a traditional squat. So I'm gonna put my hands out and stick my butt back and go down as deep as I feel comfortable. Now in the beginning of rehab, you might only be able to do a quarter squat like this. And then as you get stronger, maybe you can do a half squat. And then eventually the goal is to get down here where your thighs are almost parallel to the ground. Again, you can do it like this, just out free floating in the air. This is an air squat. Another good strategy is to put a chair right behind so you have something to reach for. 
and basically you go down right until your butt touches the chair and then you come back up. You don't actually sit down, you just touch and come back up. You can also adjust the height by putting a pillow or something on the chair and again, touching your butt to the pillow and then as you get stronger, remove the pillow um, and go down deeper. So again, with this one, like the other, shoot for three sets of 10 reps and that is our next exercise, the air squat. Okay, so here's our last exercise. This is gonna take that squat pattern from the last exercise and put it, uh, make it a little more challenging with a lateral movement. This is called a lateral squat walk. You're gonna take a loop band. Again, I'll put a link in the description for this. It's gonna go around your knees. As you get stronger, you can move the band to your ankles. That will make it more challenging. So what you're gonna do is put your hands at your waist and then sit back into kind of a partial squat. And then you're gonna to step to the side, keeping tension on this band the whole time. You don't wanna to step too close together, you'll lose tension on the band. So just keep your legs started about shoulder width and then step out and then come in with the second one, keeping tension the whole time. You're gonna go about 10 to 20 feet one direction and then go back. That allows each leg to have a turn leading the movement. Okay, so again, you can move the band down to your ankles if this is too easy, and uh, this will really help strengthen all of your glute muscles, your abductors, and your extensors, which are all super important when you're looking to rehabilitate from a hip replacement or from hip osteoarthritis. So those are our exercises. There's obviously a bunch more options out there you could implement, but these are ones that I've found to be good with patients over the years. If you have any questions about them, please put it in the comment section and I will get back to you. All right, you guys, see you next time. Bye.